Welcome to labmiss.com in a lab video series on Cisco Five Power 7.0. This is Metha, your instructor for this video series. For a complete list of Five Power videos, you can visit our website at the security section. There you can also sign up for our newsletters to receive the latest video update. Welcome back to Lab Minute's next Five Power video series. In our last Five Power video series, we went over the installation of Cisco Five Power solution, got the FMC and some of the Five Power devices set up. Then we configure all of the networking functions, including things like routing, NAT, QoS, and Multicast, but not so much on the next generation firewall feature, which deals with packet inspection or deep packet inspection and application layer inspection. So in this video series, our focus is going to be around those next generation and application layer firewall functionalities. It just happened that Cisco released the Five Power version 7.0 since our last video series, which was on the version 6.7. Because this time around is a major version release, where we go from 6.7 to 7.0, you can expect some changes and better greater things on the product. So I figured let's continue our lab with this new version. To accommodate that, we had to kind of shuffle our labs around a little bit. So our first Two videos in this series is going to be about trying to get our lab first upgraded from the version 6.7 to 7.0. If you just came right out of the 5 Power 6.7 video series, you can roll right into this one because we are going to pick up where we left off in terms of configuration and lab setup. But before we can begin the upgrade, it is always recommended to perform a system and device backup, and that is what we are going to do in this video. Let's take a look at our lab setup. Here we have a five power management center or FMC, right here, LM FMC1, right at the IP address of 172.16.32.107 that we installed in the last video series. So it's pretty much up and running with a bunch of configuration on that, ready for us to continue on with our lab. Right next to that, we have a second FMC, or FMC number two at the IPF.108. This one is a fresh install and will utilize this towards, I think the end of the lab, when we look at the capability of import export of a configuration between the FMC. On that same server VLAN, right, which is a VLAN 32, we have a Windows 2019 the main controller, DNS server, at the IPF.40. All of these are connected to our core switch, switch one, right, providing default gateway of a dot one as well as the path out to the internet, going through our FTD device, acting as our internet firewall, right here. The firewall is doing BGP, just FYI on the outside, you know, as far as the reachability to the internet, learning a default route, and then redistribute that to OSPF. So our servers on the server VLAN has a full access to the internet. And if you watch the last video series, I know that you guys may have seen one or two other firewalls. I think we used to have a transparent firewall that sits between the server VLAN and the core switch. We no longer have that this time around. And we also got rid of the virtual FTD as well, FTDV. All right, so this lab video series is pretty much going to be focusing on our internet firewall right here. As you may already know, in a five power deployment using a five power management center, which has been recently kind of rebranded to Cisco Secure Firewall Management Center, it's kind of a mouthful there, but we can just continue calling it FMC. Right? The majority of the configuration, especially around the policies and the related objects are performed and kept on the FMC, which is the centralized management server. So it is critical for you to always maintain a good backup of the FMC. And that's what we are going to look at first, how to perform a backup of the FMC. Let me bring up the web interface to our FMC number one right there. To perform a FMC server backup, you come to here under this gear icon and in under tools, you can see there's an option to perform backup and restore. 